Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. So this next episode, we're going to actually talk about the advice of another Prophet other than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about how a person can guard the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a long hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mentions Yahya alayhi salam, John. As John stands up in Jerusalem and he starts to give a speech and Jesus, peace be upon him, Isa alayhi salam is standing next to him. So imagine the scene and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said, everyone comes out to listen to Yahya and they fill their balconies and Yahya alayhi salam calls out to them with the commandments, the commandments of prayer, the commandments of fasting, the commandments of uh, the commandment of charity, all of these different commandments. And the Prophet wasallam says, Yahya alayhi salam says, amongst the commandments, he says, and Allah commands you to remember him. Allah commands you to remember him. He says, for indeed the parable of one who remembers Allah is like a man who's been chased down by his enemy. And as he as he's cornered by his enemy, he finds this, this fortress that cannot be penetrated. And he jumps behind that fortress in which he protects himself from them until his enemy flees away from him out of despair. So imagine a person running away from his enemy and then he gets behind a fortress and his enemy tries to find ways to get around that fortress and he finds it impossible until he despairs and runs away. He says, this is like a person when he remembers Allah. He does not protect himself from the shaitan except by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why dhikr, remembrance, is called Hisn al-Muslim, one of the most famous collections of remembrance and dua of Allah is called Fortress of the Muslim, Hisn al-Muslim. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, your remembrance of Allah is a fortress for you from the shaitan. If you are constantly in a state of remembrance, then shaitan cannot have an entrance inside of you. Shaitan cannot penetrate your faith in any way. And a lot of times people think that, you know, I have to be in an environment where remembrance takes place so that I can remember Allah. But the fact of the matter is that the Prophet ﷺ prescribed dhikr, prescribed remembrance, for places that the shaitan is likely to get you. So one of the most rewarding times to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do dhikr is when you're entering into the marketplace, because shaitan can get you in those spaces, right? So doing the dua of a suq, the supplication as you enter into the marketplace. When you're doing remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a gathering, where people are likely to backbite, people are likely to gossip. Basically, Imam ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah says, the dhikr of Allah is most important, the remembrance of Allah is most important in the places and times where shaitan is most likely to get your faith. Think about that. What is your most likely sin? What is your most likely action to distance you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And how much do you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those moments? And that's why we go back to Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The Prophet sallallahu said, shaitan takes another road from Umar. Shaitan cannot even be on the same street as Umar because Umar is always in the zone and Umar is always in the remembrance of Allah. And that garment of Iman that the Prophet ﷺ saw, that garment of faith is there. He's always protecting himself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, Al-Waswas Al-Khannas. He describes the shaitan as the one who frequently whispers and the one who sinks away. And Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah says, that when you become heedless, shaitan whispers, and when you remember Allah, shaitan sinks away and flees away from you. Think about the fortress and how you're protecting your iman and think about when you remember Allah and establish a regimen of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the places and times where shaitan usually gets you. If that's your workplace, you need to remember Allah in the workplace. If it's the marketplace, you need to remember Allah there. If it's in gatherings, you need to remember Allah there. If it's in the privacy of your home when you're behind a computer screen, you need to have a regimen of dhikr, something that reminds you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in those moments and to start uh, speaking or, or, uh, or verbalizing that dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the heart so that shaitan cannot penetrate and start leading you away from faith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from him and grant us that fortress of iman and the remembrance of Allah. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. See you all next time inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.